Good morning, my dear friends. Today I'm going to show you the controlling of a DC motor with the help of an L293 motor controller and a microcontroller. This is a PIC1 and a portable 5 USB interface board. I have already given a tutorial for making this board and with the help of this board and this chip along with this DC motor we're going to control the rotation of the DC motor in the clockwise and anticlockwise direction. Uh, we have connected it together with the help of some breadboard and stuff along with that. So let's go begin with this test. First of all, we're going to connect this uh, USB port with our computer. And it's not a flash, it means it's working right now. And then we are going to start our software. The software I've already mentioned and I have already given out the source code regarding with that. Now we're going to click this enable button. Now we should be able to use the keys to control our DC motor. Now I connected all this circuitry together with this L293 and this is the power signal which is coming here and I should be able to control this DC motor with the help of my key so let's see whether it can happen or not now it rotates in the clockwise direction now it's in the counterclockwise direction so we are actually controlling this DC motor with the help of our computer using a microcontroller and L293 motor controller Now there's a special key that is key 7. The speciality of this key is that when I press this key it rotates in a clockwise direction for a second. When I release this key it again comes back to its original position. For example, if I press this it goes anticlockwise. When I release it, it goes clockwise. Anticlockwise, clockwise. Watch carefully. Clockwise, anticlockwise. When I keep it pressed it gets rotates for a second and then it stops. When I release it, it comes back to its original position. can use some other keys also to control it. Clockwise, anti-clockwise. So that's how we can control an L293 motor controller with a microcontroller interfacing. I have already provided a tutorial for making the USB interface board in my website. You can follow it. Thanks for watching.